Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood pyrography artist, here to help guide you on your burning adventures. And today I have pulled out some canvas and made a no sew drawstring bag, <clears throat> excuse me, for reindeer snacks for this weekend. And I was going to burn on this can on this bag, but I really want to try it out first. So I have a scrap scrap that if I like it, I can turn it into a bag. And we're going to do a reindeer on it. I have tested out all the burners to see, or four of them, to see which one I thought would do best for burning on. This is raw linen canvas. And so I'm looking at either the Optima or the eagle the razor tip it didn't impress me and the coal wood actually went through the canvas with both tips for on setting six through eight so i'm just not going to trust the coal wood um, to work on this so it'll be between the optima and the eagle hi kathy hi eve hi grace Happy holidays. Now to get my pattern onto my canvas, I used my light box and a general sketch wash pencil. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. And I'm hoping that this will allow the graphite to wash off. And let's see here. I'm running late, so I'm kind of Whew. not quite mentally still trying to catch up to myself I've got tile behind me oops sorry I've got tile behind me so when I burn it's not burning through anything else and let's see here oh I have the link down in the description for the reindeer if you're wanting to do something like that it's a royalty free so that's in the link I also have a link to the pencil I'm using and oh I thought we would maybe if we have time play with some of the ink tense blocks to see how well they do on the canvas so hopefully you guys can see this okay hi Heather let me see if I can make this a little bit closer for you guys maybe let's see if this will help just a little bit hopefully you can see it and then here's our little reindeer I'm not going to put all of the red snowflakes but we can decorate you can use make this bag and for all kinds of things birthdays and other holidays and gifts and party favors so it was really helpful to find the video uh, of the gentleman making them so that's what I went off of and you can decorate it with all kinds of stuff afterwards so this is going to be reindeer snack bag for Santa to have carrots and and oats and whatnot for the reindeers from the little ones and we're going to start off with the spear shader and that is going to be set on two. So I'm just going to flip this. Uh, the reason I'm not using regular graphite is I try to erase. And it does not erase very well off of the canvas. I'm hoping that using the, wash, the graphite wash pencil will allow hand washing of the bag. And get rid of any pencil lines that are left over. So that is my thought just testing out my tip and I feel so bad because I was so frazzled that I didn't even mention that hubby's here reading the questions okay so hopefully I can catch up with myself oh, thank y'all you have to do that we got is it special eggnog yes ah we have special eggnog yay we'll have our own little Christmas party Okay, so I do have 
my reference close by. I, I probably will not burn it the way I see it. No, Eve, not flying solo. I'm just... I feel bad I didn't mention hubby. <sighs> I'm sorry, hubcap. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start... <laughs> Go ahead. I'm frazzled today. So it's going to be kind of sideways on here. And we'll just start. I tried to go a little further inside where I'm going to transfer. That way if I need to burn over the graphite, I can. Because I don't know how well it's going to wash. So I kind of want to hide it if I think there's going to be issues. So how's everybody doing? Are they ready for all the holidays? Um, the realistic art is here. Hi, Art. Heather Cat Lady. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Oh, we need that darker. I'm sure you've already read all these. Um, no, actually not. I love them. Okay, so Grace is with us. Kathy Whitney. I did say hi to... Yeah, of course. <laughs> and... That's all the others. I already mentioned the others. The special eggnog. <laughs> it has a little bit of Kahlua. And it has... Um, we don't... We have Kahlua? We had a little bit left. It's not oh. too much. But it's... It's, uh, the, it's mostly going to be honey whiskey. Happy eggnog. Huh? Can you get a little closer oh. so they can hear you? Okay, so I, talk actually louder. <laughs> I actually bumped the burner up to almost three and a half. And I did try to go where I knew areas were going to be lighter. I did try to go lighter with the uh, graphite. Because as you can see, maybe, hopefully, I'm going to try to zoom in more. I don't know why I'm having that problem. The graphite will show through, but we'll just use it to our our advantage. Let's see. Hopefully, that's a good enough zoom and clear. I can't tell if it's clear. Um, there's a question by Heather Cat Lady. Yes, please. Um, I guess she's tried using um, melted oil pastels using the wood burner and apply that to wood. Huh. Did you use the walnut hollow to do that one? Because I could see it working with the walnut hollow, but I wouldn't use one of the wire tip burners. We normally just melt them on the stove. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we did crayons on the stove. So... In my box, just hey Beetle. Normally when you guys watch me burn, I keep the tip in contact with the wood, uh, moving it around, but for the canvas, I'm actually lifting up in between each stroke to allow the tip to reheat quickly. And it doesn't look like I'm going to have a problem with heat blobs though. That's good. Alright, so on this, our light source is coming from the top right, so this area will be darker. I can get a smoother burn on the canvas, but it also means that it's a lot darker than I want right now. So that's why we're going to go lighter and build it up. And hopefully it doesn't take me too long so we can add some color. Marie Monopoly says hello. Hi Marie! See, if I don't let the tip kind of warm up in between, it does a lighter burn, which again helps if the area you want's lighter. And this is really going to bring out the texture of the canvas. Let's see how it's going to be a little blurry because the autofocus is off. And what I do have to um, worry about is I found out when I was testing on the tile, when it's a higher heat, it actually 
leaves residue from the the heated canvas on the tile and so I'll just wipe that off in between so that it doesn't rub onto the bottom of the canvas not that it matters it's inside the bag so my hope is that I'll be able to wash any graphite showing wash that off and all will be left is a burn I may have to actually bump this up even hotter and that was one of the reasons why I did this little strip is I can see without having to play too much how much is going to heat up for what setting I have it on and like paper canvas is gonna have to be higher so I just went up to four and I'm just using the bottom of it to, to test on and it should kind of polish our tip too without even trying. So you could you could burn on canvas every once in a while. If you had a project in canvas and a project on wood going, you could clean your tip. Yeah. Oh, switch in between. Mm -hmm. Or if I was making a duplicate of canvas and wood, I could put the canvas on top of wood and just burn hot and it'll burn both at the same time. Not that I ever do that. See, this side's gonna be lighter because of our because of our light source. So I'm trying not to raise it up as much. Yeah, I was really disappointed that the coal wood had lacked um, nuance in the heat. And that it actually, from setting six to eight, I didn't go any hotter, hotter because my tips were already bright red and I don't burn at that setting, especially for any length of time. So it really didn't matter what it looked like for me. And I knew it was just gonna get black and at some point create a hole. But I was actually really surprised that the um, burn master had some nuance to it for canvas. I did not expect that. Let's see here. And we'll make him a little fuzzy. But right now I'm just trying to... Well Eve really likes the texture. It's definitely different. And, but you do need to make sure that you're burning on raw canvas. It doesn't have to be linen. I picked linen because it's smoother than a lot of canvas. And this is also a scrap piece of canvas from Jason um, stretching his own canvases for painting. So I just borrowed some scraps. In fact, I didn't buy anything for this project. This is everything I've already got. So, I will, I think I might actually do a green scarf. What do you guys think, green or red? Or I could do two, green and red. I would say green. Green? Because there's already a lot of red. Well, I was going to color it a little differently. Michael Ann's here, so it's good morning. Hi, Michael Ann. And Grace said that yeah, you're, you're raiding my supplies. Actually, I gave <laughs> these up. So. Yeah, I asked and he offered. In fact, it was kind of your idea to do this in a way. You had an idea that spurred this idea from, for me. So did they know what this idea is? I don't remember what it is. <laughs> Oh my god, you are frazzled. Well, I was just trying to come up with an idea for the live. It's for the kids? For oh no, I know where this came from, but I don't remember what your thought was that brought me to this. That's all. I just wanted something to do with, you know. The holidays. The, well, for the kids to bring to Santa, you know, to leave for Santa. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why she's. 
He's being silly today. All right, so I'm not going to go too much darker here. In fact, he's lighter on the chest anyway, so that works. So now I'm going to come up to the scarf and make sure that I'm using the side of the tip to kind of get a line for shading. And right now, I am not going to get fussy over outlining. This is meant to be cartoony and fun. So let's just see where it takes us. And it's getting windy outside, so I think he's barking at the wind. Because that's what she does. Alright. So bring it down here. And the idea came so that grandbaby could leave treats for Santa's reindeer. Because they get tired and hungry too. So that's where my thought came from. And I was curious. I know I've known that you can burn on canvas and I've been meaning to do it, but I hadn't found an idea that really kind of spoke to me I to do it. Had. No, not yet. Not really. What idea was? No, I thought you actually burned on canvas. No, this is my first time burning on canvas. Oh. That's why I went ahead and tested the pens at the different heat settings. Well, you asked uh, Heather if it was a walnut hollow, it is. Ah, okay. Well, that's definitely a way to do um, more of an, an encaustic type mm -hmm. of painting with oil pastels. So let's put a little bit more shape to our scarf. And I was thinking on the other side, though, I'm not going to do it today. I had almost thought about um, writing a letter, Dear Santa, on the other side, explaining what the little bag is for, for the reindeer. But I'm not going to do lettering today. So, so this is going to be colored. So I don't want too much, but I do think we kind of need it outlined just a little bit. And if I like this, then I will go ahead and um, do this on the drawstring bag. One of the things I realized I kind of <clears throat> created a little bit of problem for myself is with this bag my light box is not going to show through to show me the pattern because it's two layers but doing it this way i can burn my pattern wash it if i want to to make sure all the graphite's off and then glue it together i did iron it so that the areas where the drawstring would glue down and whatnot is kind of masked off so i don't burn in that area Let's see here. Now let's get up here. Okay, I'm going to see okay. um, what Moon's yelling about. And uh, chili. I, <laughs> oh, I, your food of choice today? Yes, yeah, it's chili. Chili. Yes. <coughs> you made chili last night for dinner. So, all right. So I'm just kind of tapping along. I want a little bit more of a fur texture, but I'm not going to get too crazy about it, and honestly you can't really tell because the graphite's down, and I don't want to try to erase because it's going to um, smear the graphite, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to use the end of my spoon, uh, spear shader and kind of give him some furs. So far this is working really well. I definitely will try 
burning on ca canvas more in the future. So if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see on canvas, I think it's going to be a piece. If you want realism, you want me to burn something realistic, it's going to take me time because like uh, the watercolor paper, oops, he's going to have a thicker smile. It's a little harder to, or it takes longer and a little more patience to get better detail in. When you're painting on canvas, there is gesso to help smooth it out and keep the paints from soaking in. But we don't have these smooth aspect. So, just take your time. Probably, if you need to make a lot of them, probably something to start in <laughs> at the beginning of school, especially for like kids' classes. Mm, sorry, thirsty there. I even got some whipped cream on my eggnog. How awesome is hubby? All right, so we're going to kind of do a little sideways smile, kind of thicken it up a little bit. Why not? All right. That's yeah, okay. So, yeah, this would make great, uh, these little bags would make little, great little projects. The kids could help glue, and depending on the age, if they are older, I think with adult supervision, they could help decorate their own bags. All right, let's get these eyeballs in. Now these are gonna be black, so you know what? I'm gonna wait so I don't have to keep adjusting. I'll come back to that. So let's get his head in. So, like I said, this was a royalty-free pattern. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see that. There is a little bit of residue on the tile. No, you can't see. And I will. This is from me wiping off yesterday. Um, it just wipes off, and we'll keep going. All right. Make sure I'm on the screen for you guys. Did you answer a Beatles question? Already? I did not see Beatles question. I've been burning, so okay. I wasn't looking up. So, um, Beetle asked about the burning on the canvas. Mm -hmm. So, once you've burned it, can you wash it? Um, should be able to. That's what I'm hoping, because we are we are kind of damaging the fibers. So, I do hope it's going to stick. I would say, whoop, I'm bouncing all over the place. I would say hand wash. And don't um, lay flat to dry, depending on what it is you're doing. That way, you're washing it in a more gentle setting. In fact, I would probably only look at washing it with maybe... <sighs> I'm trying to think what's a good thing to wash. Can I... When I wash my knits, I use shampoo. Um, I don't know how well shampoo would be for linen. For wool, it works great. There we go. So I'm just tapping down. Let's see here, we got lighter under here. But we want to go with the direction of the ear. And I don't tend to do a lot of cartoony stuff, but I thought this guy was cute. And that's what took so long while I was late, as I was trying to find <coughs> a reindeer I really liked. Um, Adele is here. Hey, Adele. He says, hola, todos un abrazo. <laughs> hola. Let's see here. So we got a little shadowing going under here. So we'll just get that in there real quick. 
Now, my ornament is not perfectly <coughs> round, and I guess that's okay. I, I can draw that in. I'll probably switch over to the ball tip to do that part. Well, here's a question. Yes. Marie uh, Monopoly says, I have a bamboo cutting board I want to burn on. Any tips? I have honestly never burned on bamboo. <clears throat> and I have seen people leave comments in the groups about bamboo, and they were not happy with it. I, I don't know how well it burns or how it burns. If it's at a higher heat or anything like that. I would say start really low and test your heat setting on a scrap piece of bamboo a lot. Just so you can make sure it's where you want it to be before you touch down. And take your time. Sorry about that. I just, I've never done bam bamboo. I've done pine and maple and birch and some veneered plywood from Home Depot. Of course, basswood. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, no, you. I did you. Speaking of you, we're missing April. A uh, angel. Yeah. Sorry, brain still. How'd you get from me to there? You. E Y E W. The wood. I haven't burned you. Well, I have technically burned you, but I haven't burned you. I'm so confused. <laughs> you is a wood. Your dad sent it to me, remember? The fox? I'm a person. <laughs> I mean, yes, I've burned you, but not burned you. Right. You've never burned me, figuratively, or actually. No, figured. I have actually burned you, but I have not physically burned your person. Right. There or, we go. Or burned, burned me emotionally. <laughs> no. Yeah, that gets confusing after a while. Yes, Kathy, it does sound like a seal in the background. Oh, moon? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Paul wasn't here either. Oh, well, I hope sense. Paul's okay. Yep. I was running so behind I didn't get a chance to send him a message. Alright, let's get this ear in. And when I was transferring it looked like there was a bit of uh, shading inside the ear here, but I'm seeing it now and it does not have that. Hmm. That's all right. Yeah, I'm really hopeful that the that this wash uh, graphite does wash out. I'm gonna have to find another method to um and Grandpa Podge is here. Hi Podge. <laughs> It's so hard to call him Grandpa. I'm sorry. He says, you amaze him with all the things you burn on that he would have never thought to use. Awesome. I, I just wanted to give more options. And I don't tend to be a very crafty person. But having grandbaby now, it's kind of nice to be able to make her some handmade stuff. But hopefully sticks around for when he becomes an adult. I really did want to try the canvas. I'm really curious about it. Alright, so <coughs> some of the other details going to be with the ball tip. I don't want to burn. I'm going to use the ball tip for the nose. We've got light antlers. Uh, well, why don't we just put some detail on the face? We can do that with this pen. And Grandpa Podge says, she says just Podge is great to call him. Okay, that works. Ray Telford is here. Hey, Ray. From Iowa. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, did everybody watch Jason's Oblivious 2 and 3? I love them. I didn't link them, but at the li after the live, if you haven't had a chance to watch them, they just make me smile. Alright, so we know our reindeer has a darker head, so we'll get that in there. I'm still on four, because I'm moving the pen quicker. Even with lifting off, it is burning lighter. Did you finish your eggnog? No, I'm still working on it. Okay. Don't forget about it. No, no. I've taken two Don't drinks. Don't forget the eggnog. Don't forget the eggnog. <coughs> no, I'm not going to waste it. All right. So this is, the spoon shader is actually working really well to give me a couple of different types of strokes. Looks like it's going quick. I'm trying because I, I am really curious about adding some of the uh, color to it. So I'm trying to get through it. Oh. It is burning, I mean, because it's a cartoon and meant to be something um, just fun, it is burning quicker. Or I should say I'm burning quicker. Let's see here. <laughs> it is getting windy out there, and for some reason, she likes to get her sisters all riled up. Yeah, she thinks it's funny. She'll start barking and getting them all riled up, and then she'll go and lay down and act like he didn't do anything. So that is Layla. That is the one that had the surgery. What is it, about a month ago now? Over a month. Now that she's all fixed and better, we can tell uh, that maybe something was going on with her longer than we thought. She's less cranky and happier and likes to run around the house like Scooby sliding. So I'm going to try to go lighter on this side. Moon's in her spot. Oh, she's yelling at her sister to get up. No, actually she's trying to generate a fake interest to get Moon to move. Oh. She must be laying on your spot on the couch. Yep. All right, so we've got a little light going. So now we can darken up. this side and I think I'm gonna bump up to four and a half because I am trying to get this done quicker well Michael Ann says, says she laughed and she cried oh I cried do. happy tears I hope so I do too hopefully she wasn't like concerned about me <laughs> you did get your butt kicked didn't you I was just thinking it's mental, my mental state. Oh, I was thinking you got your butt kicked. I did. Fuzzy showed you what it was. Yeah. It was actually, it was actually G, uh, DJ. Oh, it was DJ this time? Well, I've been saying Fuzzy. Well, Fuzzy was in the first film. I thought DJ was a... Uh, well, DJ is his, his stunt double. And, he does martial arts, so it's pretty much indistinguishable. I get confused all the time. So, so who 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 do we make the checkout to, Fuzzy or DJ? Well, we have to make it to them both. I just I screwed up in the credits. I didn't credit them both. Them oh, because in the first one, I mean there there was a little bit of of, um, of action. But Fuzzy did most of it, so DJ didn't really get a credit. But I should probably, at some point, go back and credit him. 
And as you can see, you do not want to make him angry. No, he definitely has a temper. Yeah. So was it Fuzzy in the cage or DJ in the cage? Um, that was uh, Fuzzy in the cage. Fuzzy does most of the voice acting, actually, and then DJ does most of the fights. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuzzy definitely gives you the eyes, didn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah. So, when are you going to tell everybody you're starting your own channel? Ha <laughs> ha, I'm going to corner you. Wow. Well, there you go. I'll just walk away. <laughs> um, I guess when uh, this next semester is over, because I know this next semester I'm going to be really busy. busy. Mm -hmm. So after that, I guess I'll start start the channel. Yay! All right. Because I don't have a whole lot of contrast going on, it is kind of throwing me off. Let's see here. How do they? Oh, I guess I drew it wrong. That's all right. We're gonna do this. All right. So this would be darker because it's under the chin. Now I won't be sealing this because it is on fabric and I'm hopeful that the ink tints it says that they're permanent on fabric so that should allow this to stay whatever I color it for a long time hopefully Here we're still on. We are. We're getting some buffering from time to time, though. Are you guys getting buffering? Our internet's been acting weird for for what over a week now. May have to call the company. Right, let's get some of that in there, and I'm gonna. Switch over. I'm going to switch over to a medium ball tip. So I will just switch over to the Optima. And I think I might end up using the small ball tip for the Burnmaster. So all I did was switch. I'm keeping the same heat setting. And I didn't switch all the way. There we go. So I think I'm going to start this one at a three and a half. Because the ball tip for Optima, actually, I guess we could go for. Okay. I am glad I made this. See, Cole would just eat through the canvas. Hopefully, you can see me stick my finger through there. There we go. If I have it on screen, you can see it. So. It's like on screen to me. <laughs> no. I had to pull it up just a little bit. Well, I'm watching like a minute in the past, so. Is it that bad on buffering? Uh, or on. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'll let you know. Alright, so let's put in his eyeballs. Of course, if you're doing this for, you know, doing something like this for a party. I would definitely pick the easiest artwork that you could get through quickly. Alright, so this is on a four. I can actually go higher, but for now I'm going to leave it there. It's about 30 seconds. About 30 seconds? Yeah. Let's see, let's get this in. I thought about putting eyelashes on this one since Jessica's a girl. But it helps having the eyeballs in. <laughs> not having eyeballs is throwing me off. Yeah, it was me too. And so is the not having a nose. It would throw me off too. 
<laughs> Couldn't see. Couldn't see. <clears throat> so let's get this nose in here. And beat off those lipstick too. <laughs> All right. So I do think I'm gonna go with the red nose. So Michael Ann, thank you for. Um, she was commenting that that Layla is better. Yes. And yeah, she's much better. Oh, that's what I was telling them when you were seeing what she was doing. Yeah, yep. she's so crazy now. <laughs> so she's happy. That's a good thing. All right, so let's get some shading in for the nose, and then we can get the antlers. And Actually, we'll just... it's like we're getting buffering from time to time, but... Bitter, bitter. The actual delay is not too bad, but like, but we are getting like buffering pretty often. Hopefully, when people are watching, well, I'm, they're probably seeing what I'm seeing. Well, is the chat getting buffering? The chat's not. No. Okay. No, meaning people watching the chat. Um, is it just us? I haven't said anything, but I'm assuming since you're broadcasting and it's running through YouTube, and I'm watching it on YouTube, they've got to be seeing what I'm saying. Unless it's our internet that's buffering. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, all right. we got some dimension on the nose. A little shading. All right. Let's see here. Let's put some weight on these eyes. Uh, Grace says it's buffering really bad for her. Oh no. Should I stop? You know what guys? I'm going to pause the stream and come right back so don't leave and we'll see if that helps. I'm going to go turn off the, the Christmas music. Be right back. Okay. So hopefully um, let me try it again. All right, let's see if this, I'm still, okay, now I got green. Hopefully we're all good now. Yeah, it looks like maybe this is a YouTube thing. Because... Let's see here. I'm looking. It says we're live. Oh, I can tell you open the studio door. Yeah, it's cold out there. I have paused the stream twice and came back. Hopefully, I don't have to speed this up and repost it. Well, everybody's refreshing. But we'll see. <laughs> we lost a lot of heat. I was nice and warm and toasty. You want me to turn on the heater? No, it's fine. Right, let's make this a little more of a circle. And hopefully nobody else is having issues. I turned off the music. Yeah. There shouldn't be anything going now. I think it's possibly... Because, see, look at the bottom of OBS. It keeps going yellow-red. There's something going on. Hopefully they're not, like, working on it outside. Alright. So I'm just lightly putting in the antlers. Now, I'm not going to burn around it, the antlers, to make them stand out. But I can use color to do that. So I will let that be. There we go. Put our little highlight in there. Oop, that went a little dark. That's okay. We'll just darken this up. I meant to do it. There we go. Are we still having problems or is it calmed down? We're still having problems, but it hasn't done it. I'm just doing it now. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna 
have to call the, contact the internet company and find out what in the world's going on. Because I haven't changed any settings. Um, everything should be good. I don't know if one of our other devices is updating or something. Oh. I didn't even think to check to see if the phone is on. Let me see here. Um, I'm turning the internet off on my phone. Hopefully that helps. Do you want me to turn the tablet off and just work yeah. off of the computer? I don't think the tablet... Um, no, because the tablet's not on... The computer's on the... Um, it's hardwired. Ethernet. Okay. So. Oh, that's right. Alright. So, I'm still seeing the graphite, but I think it's going to be okay. Hopefully, everything will stop messing up. I think I want to go a little dark with the eyes, so I'm going to bump, go ahead and bump it up to four and a half. Got something on my glasses. There we go. And because I'm using the medium tip, it's less likely to go through the canvas when it's hotter. Unless it's the cold wood. Alright. See, it does, when you do a higher heat, it does smooth out a bit. But I'm kind of liking the texture for something like this. There we go. Turn it so people can see it. Yeah, I see right it. Now. I see it. Yeah. All right. Well, I was going to do the ink tints on this guy just to test the canvas, but unfortunately, this is just getting worse. And I feel bad to ask you guys to stick around and go through it. So because this is going on and. If at some point you guys can tell me, how about we go ahead, even though I was late today, uh, go ahead and stop pretty much here. And what I can do is I can wash this to make sure and see how the graphite comes off, see how the burning looks. And next Wednesday, we can add the ink tints during the live just to see how everything looks. That way you guys see how it's still it could be the yes yes Heather it's very it's we've got wind advisories though it's not blowing right now. But Wednesday Santa will have already come. I know Santa will have already come but at least now people know that you can burn on canvas and that you can make these little bags and I will be able to have this ready and wash so we can see how the graphite mm. comes out of it okay. hopefully fingers crossed and then see how it looks with the ink tints or do you guys want a new project next week? Which I have no idea what it would be. I know they're buffering again. Ah, this is so frustrating. I don't know if we can get the internet company out here before next Wednesday. Because of the holidays. Ah. Or do you guys want me to pick up uh, the owl wood burning that I started on watercolor paper like months ago that I have not picked up since? That one's on cold press paper. Um, do you guys want me to start working back on that again? 
Mm. It's actually it's getting worse. All right, it's getting worse. I'm not sure, not sure what chat's actually heard. <sighs> Missed two good minutes. All right. Well, I'm gonna shut it down here. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So we got this. We got this. And I'm just gonna throw this in for some color. Why not? blocking all righty so hopefully you guys can hear it long enough for me to say bye to you i hope you guys have a very happy holidays for those who cel celebrate winter solstice may your solstice be blessed and those who are celebrating hanukkah happy hanukkah <laughs> i'm not exactly sure what the correct term for that one is and for those who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. May everyone have a safe and happy and relaxing holiday. I hope this was a little bit fun for you guys and kind of gave you some ideas. If you want to see how uh, I made the bag, the link is down in the description below for the video for making the bag. I did clip and I think my clips kind of rusted. So I wouldn't leave them on there too long next time. And I used the Optima to burn. And this is raw linen canvas. It's the only canvas, only, the only time of fat brick you should burn on is raw. So nothing that's been dyed or has any chemicals in it. And thank you for stopping by. You guys have been awesome. Hopefully this video has helped you take one more step in your burning adventure. If you're new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little bell lets you know every time I go live every Wednesday, 11 a.m. Arizona time. Also, please don't forget to hit the like button and leave me a comment. Happy holidays, guys, and happy burning. Bye. Bye.